Afternoon YouTube, it's your boy Leon Number Two Kulu, the South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. Like if you like the video, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, just do me a favor. You know what I'm saying? About to talk about Lost in Space. I really enjoyed the first season. I actually just finished it a few minutes ago and I just had to talk about it. For those who don't know, I'm gonna give you like a brief description of what the show's about. Basically, it's about the Robinson family who are part of this highly trained mission to establish new colonies in space and is unexpectedly pulled off course forcing them to crash on a lost planet and basically a lot of things happen it's basically like a noah's ark type of story earth is no more perfect for humanity's lifespan so they take the necessary people like biologists therapists uh, musicians, this, that, to find a new place to coexist again, you know, with no wars, with no anything. It was like an admirable thought. A lot of shady things happened out of this thought, like even the Robinson family did some shady things to get William on the Ark. I'm gonna call it the Ark. Uh, anyway, the show is really amazing from the visual effects to even the casting because I didn't really know much of the cast and I thought, ah, oh, that's going to be a downfall for the show but for my opinion, I really am attached to everybody in this show honestly, from the good guys to the bad guys or the bad person, let me put it in that sense um, I mean, like, you should really see this, this show, it's something to behold like, from how space looks from the spaceship to the production design inside the spaceship let's talk about the the alien robot for a second um when it first appeared when it was red it glowed red and it had four arms it looked like amazing visual effects like they really went out on this robot but then 98 percent of the time it was just a dude in basically a robot suit and it was so obvious, but it was endearing, man. It was William's pal. Uh, let's talk about uh, the Robinson family as a whole for an instant. I, I was really, like, the kids were my favorite characters throughout, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, as the whole show wrapped up, my favorite character was Rudy. Ruby, I mean. No, listen, Ruby, it was Judy. Judy, that's what her name was. Judy. Judy was really my favorite character from her character growth was amazing. How she had to overcome her PTSD because she was cocky at the beginning. Then something drastic happens with the ice giving her PTSD and she had to really overcome that and become something else. And I feel like she has a weird relationship with that dude who's an engineer and a smuggler. I was like the age difference here, but I was also thinking she cute. How old is that girl anyway? Comment down below if you know how old she is. But like the practical effects of the show, they really went to the wild. You can see like the whole family was just amazing. Even the other daughter, I forgot her name. She was charming. She was really funny. From the moment she had the Oreos to the moment she kissed the guy to the moment she saved him and basically told him off what that dude did was savage though with that whole breakup moment also another character to talk about is Angela I wish we saw more of her she did redeem herself of what she did when she tried to kill the robot put William and the other Robinson family in danger but she did redeem herself in a sense there were some familiar faces that was like in passing, not really lasting that long. Uh, and the whole different colonies were amazing to see from the Japanese people and everybody else, you know. It was like something else. Let's talk about uh, Dr. Smith or Judy Harris, whatever her name is, like I'm gonna just call her Smith because that's the primary, the name she went with the most. Oh, she was like she was the embodiment of self preservation, like, survival was her 
prime goal and out of everybody it seems she kind of got what she wanted i mean that robinson family is lost in space she's with them but she still survived they're like i'm just saying other people died for less than what she did like yo she just manipulated people for days especially william will he just fell for so much stuff yo he was so impulsive i see why he failed the test because of how impulsive it was and they needed logical people and he was so impulsive making him get caught making him be responsible for his father's death yes i had to put air quotes for that situation and i liked how they were making us play catch up with the robinson family like they started us all happy go lucky with the family and you saw why they were not so happy at the beginning because of what the father decided and what the uh, miss robinson ultimately also decided what what she thought was right from william for pulling favors for william and also wanting to take her family away from the father that was some savage decision making though but they ultimately come together i mean like the robinson family is all about love and you saw it strong i mean like let's talk about space for a moment like with so much amazing space travel movies and series like something to behold it makes you want to be an astronaut low-key like and is it is it that easy to make a space show now i know the show is like a reboot of an old movie or series in the 70s or something i don't really know much about it but i really enjoyed the show i went in with kind of no expectation only the title that they lost in space they still are at ultimately at the end even though it seemed like they were gonna get rescued by the arc like i said i'm gonna call it the arc but it was an amazing series i legit give it an eight out of ten i really enjoyed it i, I wanted to get renewed i want to see more of these characters i'm invested now you know what i'm saying I, I feel like i'm part of the robinson family i also want to put my my hand on that wall they had of memorabilia that we were here the robinson family that cave ended up being so important but yeah like i said eight out of ten i advise you to go watch it if you haven't watched it i hope my review makes you want to go watch netflix original lost in space do sis join the south african geeks channel and you know i'm doing more reviews more reactions just keep coming keep coming keep coming i'm gonna be consistent Promise that.